I grew up in a relatively normal household. My mom came home every day from work. She cooked dinner and somewhere along the line, I, I just wanted to fit in and I started making some crazy decisions. Decisions that led me to places that I never should have been. Before I knew it, I was, I was homeless. I was an IV drug user. I was overdosing all the time. One of the times that I overdosed on my, it was on my dealer's floor and he kicked me out. I was in the desert in Vegas and I could see the city lights. I could see life going on. I sat there looking at all of this, knowing that if I continued the way that I was going, I was gonna die. It was at that point, I know that it was the Lord and I didn't even know the Lord at that point. I had a clear choice between life and death and I wanted to live. And it was in that moment I reached out to my mom. She told me about Teen Challenge and I got on a bus and I went to Bakersfield Teen Challenge and I never looked back. I had no idea what it meant to surrender. I had no idea who Jesus was to me and I just put my whole heart into the program. I have a hope now, I have a future. One of the greatest blessings that the Lord ever gave me are the women that I get to minister to at at LA Teen Challenge. I get to witness the Lord changing their hearts and I'm passionate about it because who wouldn't be passionate about witnessing miracles every single day? There's nothing more beautiful than seeing the light come on in somebody's eyes, somebody who didn't think that they would ever have a future, that they would ever have a life. When I came to Christ, when I came to Teen Challenge, I had true freedom. I could wake up in the morning without needing anything. A place where I belong, where I could be myself, you know? I could be silly, I can cry, I could be upset. I have a family of other believers, of sisters in Christ, friends who truly love me. My mom, I just got to worship with her, to hold my mom's hand and worship Jesus with her. I'm married now to a man who, who loves me the way that Christ loves the church. He absolutely loves me and I love him and we're just drawing closer to the Lord together. Just by being obedient and surrendering to Jesus. You know, he, he guided me and he taught me how to, how to follow his voice. He gave me a confidence. He, he gave me a confidence in being his and finding out I can hold my head up high. I, I serve him. He changed my whole entire life, everything.